What is going on guys? Real Touch Gmail here back with another Java tutorial and today we are going to be working with basic enemies. Now these are the most basic enemies you can get. Basically basic basically you get it. Um, there's an enemy on the screen and it goes left and then when it hits the edge of the screen it goes to the right. Left, right, left, right. And it's got that basic collision that we actually learned last tutorial. Uh, and you can go ahead and check out that link in the description and if you have not seen any of my tutorials yet uh, you can actually click that link or that annotation and it'll bring you right to uh, the beginning of all of the videos. So if you've already done all of that and you're right up to speed with uh, where I am, then let's go ahead and continue then. Alright, so what we're going to do is, is we're going to create a new class in our objects package. I'm just going to name it enemy. And we're going to uh, extends global position. And go ahead and import it there. Oh, it's already imported. Add the constructor. And again, this should be, um, this just gets your X and Y coordinates. So then we're going to do public void draw graphics 2D, G2D. And this is going to be a lot like how we drew our player. So go ahead and import that. And then we're going to create another function to, uh, to actually gather our image. So image icon i equals new image icon get class dot get resource and then we can just say image that obviously paths it you should know how to do this actually uh, from my last tutorials all right so then you're gonna just go ahead and import everything uh, image icon and image and in our actual images folder I went ahead and already uploaded or uh, put in an enemy uh, picture here and that's the same process as putting in the player and putting in the background so uh, yeah you should know how to do that so now we need to sh uh, path our image so private string private string uh, image equals slash slash images slash enemy dot png again it should not be new to you and then g2d dot draw image get enemy image why no there we are so at this point you have a fully functional uh, enemy class that can be drawn well sort of we we still have to add it to the actual game class here so we can do that right now. So we can just say enemy E and go ahead and import it. A lot of importing in Java. So we're going to say E equals new enemy and then we obviously set the coordinates. So I'll just say 200 by 200. Uh, e dot draw G2D. And then we're going to do E dot update, uh, which we have not made an update class yet. So I'm just going to add that right now. Public void update. All right, so if we went ahead and played it now, as you can see, there is an actual enemy drawn on the screen now. And what I want that enemy to do is I want it to go right, and then it's going to go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, uh, which should be pretty simple in your mind. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to say int uh, speed equals 5. We'll make it go in 5, right? And in our update, we're going to say if x is greater than then main class dot width minus 32 speed equals negative 5 right and then we can copy this and paste it down is less than 0 speed equals 5 all right so i do x is greater than main class dot width which takes our main class and our width which is 640 which we set the size to uh, and minus 32 because remember the origin of our actual image is on the top left the top left corner of our image so uh, you need to that that's where it um, detects collisions so you need to do minus 32 so that it doesn't go off screen and then go back uh, and then less than zero speed equals five and then finally we do x plus equals speed so if we went ahead and played it as you can see, he does go a little bit fast, but now that enemy does move back and forth left to right infinitely. 
so that is a very, very, very basic enemy. Uh, go ahead and leave a like, go ahead and subscribe, and uh, in the uh, next tutorial, we're going to go ahead and look at um, basic, uh, not basic collisions, like collision with the actual enemy itself. So we're going to actually give uh, this enemy a X and Y value. And then we're going to see if that matches our player's X and Y value. Um, all right, so that's it for this tutorial. Go ahead and leave a like, go ahead and subscribe, and I will see you sexy legends next time. Peace.